Good afternoon. Let's see. I think I've got a signal. I think we're good. All right. Hi. Welcome to my broadcast. Um, my daily broadcast. This is episode number, episode number 731. Um, just got part, back from memorial service having a post-memorial feast right now. So that's on my mind. So I'm going to talk about that today and about what a life is worth. So before I jump into that, let me introduce myself so you know who I am, what I'm about, um, why I do these talks. My name is Barry Selby. And by the way, I'm, I've got a street behind the camera, so I'm watching cars go by, so I'm watching my distraction. Excuse me. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, and passionate champion of the divine feminine, helping women create balance in love, life, and business because I'm a passionate champion of the divine feminine. That's kind of circular. <laughs> anyway, about... Just over two years ago, I started doing these talks called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And more than that, this is really about waking people up to their possibilities. Love, relationships, self-love, self-support, other things like that. And today, it's about life without you, or life with you, or how you live your life. Because that's what's on my mind right now. So again, episode 731. In memory, what is a life worth? And worth is an interesting term. I probably shouldn't have used that one because worth to me um, is, an, is a independent of who we are. We are worthy, period. So that's one thing I'm putting on the table right now. There is no earning worth. There's no justification for worth. There's none of that stuff. This is about what is it to contribute? What, is our, what do we do with our lives and what it means to other people? Because being at this memorial, it was a, um, the father of a friend and grandfather of the friends of mine so I was just a friend of the family and he was the patriarch he was 101 when he passed just almost 102 and the impact and also watching this family dynamic the 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 I would say the lineage lineage but certainly the hierarchy the structure of the family was such a blessing and seeing how much they loved each other and, tra- and it was interesting because I look at my own family it's different but in this family the cousins were like brothers and sisters there was no separation in so many ways. They were like family. So the boys and the girls grew up together as one big mosh pit of family. And that was a powerful witness thing to witness for me. You know, where I, in my family, we didn't do that as much. And in fact, in my teenage years, part of my family split off completely because there was such a, a um, disagreement, I'll be polite, about what happened. So this, for me, is about remembering what our life is worth. And what I want to speak to more is actually about con- contribution. There was something that happened at the burial, and I want to speak about this just because it, it really stuck with me. What the woman officiating said that at the end, when we came out to the graveside where they have the coffin to be lowered, was lowered down into the into the, the hole in the ground, the grave, technical terms. And she said that uh, now this is I'm being from Jewish culture. It was a Jewish um, burial, funeral. She said that the the we were going to give maybe the greatest mitzvah which is a service of all because what we were doing is we were each taking turns to take some dirt and throw it down into onto the onto the coffin and she said the thing about it is it's a mitzvah of great worth because we're giving without getting anything back from the person we gave it to because he's already dead and it was kind of able to let this hit me so vividly because i do a lot of service work myself to contribute to give to serve to make a difference but the thing is, they might recognize it or see it or notice it and thank me for it. I don't go looking for that, but it's there. Whereas this is a forced experience of giving without any possibility of receiving. Except in the gift, except receiving in the act of giving sort of thing. But like, he has already passed on, so he can't thank any of us. So it's a really interesting visual to see about how we give some of your service, we make a difference. We step up, we speak up, we make an impact. But do we do it to get something? I mean, I'm throwing lots of different things at it because my mind's in the middle of all this processing from the memorial. In fact, I've got a plate of food sitting inside for me to go eat in a minute, so I'm kind of distracted. But I want to just talk about this for a moment to drop some seeds to think about what it is you might choose to do to contribute, to serve other people, to make memories that are worth other people enjoying. Because the things that were happening at the, at the um, memorial service, they were sharing all of these wonderful... Um, memories, experiences, and they were vivid memories, and they were so celebratory, and people were laughing, and there was so much joy remembering those things. So my question to you, actually a few questions, is do you impact other people where they have fond memories of you after you pass through their space, whether it's lifetimes or just for a few minutes? 
Do you uplift other people when you're around? Is that your intention every day? It's kind of what I'm working on. Also, do you serve other people to get something or do you serve other people just to give? These are just a few ideas I'm playing with and I'm going to throw them out to you as something to consider for yourself because frankly, we all have some gifts to give. We're on the planet. We all have the same chance. We have 24 hours in a day. We can do something to make a difference in other people's lives. We can do something with our lives to make a difference in the world. And if you're not doing something that makes a difference in a positive way, why not? This, this daily Facebook Live is part of my work, but the reality is I don't get paid for this. <laughs> I mean, I'm doing this because well, I'm doing this because Spirit's giving me the guidance to do it. But the reality is I give this to make a difference in people's lives. And people may be watching my videos every day without telling me. I don't know because it doesn't show me who watches. I do see the comments and the likes and stuff like that and the shares. But if somebody is watching my video and doesn't tell me, I don't know if they watched it. But I'm trusting that what I'm sharing in these sort of talks is inspiring in some way, or is uplifting, is provoking conversation or suggestion or self-reflection. Because that's what I'm kind of about. So I'm keeping this very brief because I've got, so I've got a plate of food in there and plus a lot of people I'm having no conversations with. I want to step out and do my broadcast as commitment every day, 5 p.m. Pacific time on Facebook Live. Um, so I hope this made sense. One quick thing, by the way, I mentioned I shared this yesterday because yesterday was my one-year anniversary, excuse me, my 38th year anniversary of coming to L.A. in America. I'm offering as a gift, as a service, as a tantalizing deal, 38-minute sliding scale single session coaching with me meaning that you can sign up or you can commit to 38 minutes of support from me relationship centric self support centric primarily that you choose what you want to pay and we set up a time and we talk it's only available for this week but I offered it yesterday so I'm offering it again today because this is available if you want to grab a spot on my calendar this week we can talk for a fee that you choose and we can go from there so this is my invitation to get reached out for support as I said yesterday but it's also part of my giving is and my serving is I want to make sure that I step up in the way that serves other people and inspires other people. So this is what this is about. I'll put a link in the comments afterwards to get to contact me or you can message me, message me on social media if you want to get this set up. We set up PayPal and we can do the whole thing and then set up on my calendar and we can talk. Again, it's a pay what you want, sliding scale, 38 minute private coaching session. That's my gift, my service, my special deal. Um, and that's it, really. I wanted to plant some seeds about the memorial, thinking about what you value in your life. How do you give? How do you serve? How do you express? Are you making a difference? Are you stepping up to your greater calling? And if you're not, I have some tools that can help you with that, too. So message me and let me know. This is, what is it now? Yeah, it's a short broadcast today because I'm going to go back in. But I want to just say, say hi today. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time on my personal page on Facebook. I also put the replays onto my business page and onto YouTube. And... I invite you to join me, to interact, to talk, to find out how I can help you. I thank you for watching. Oh, by the way, the replays, we can find them. Business page on Facebook is barryselby.author. My YouTube channel is Barry Selby. Please subscribe. The playlist there is Messages from the Masculine. Again, join me at 5 p.m. Pacific time every day on my personal page, which is Barry Selby on Facebook, right here. And uh, find out how I can help you. I provide these as a service, as a gift, as a addiction almost because I love serving and speaking this way and helping people and uh, I'm here to help I thank you for watching if you have any questions thoughts or ideas about memorial about leaving a good memory behind about impacting people's lives positively please put in the comments I, I look forward to hearing from you and again this is my part of my work part of my service part of my inspiration so I trust this helps you I appreciate you watching thanks for being, me, uh, being with me as always and again I put the link in the comments you can reach out to me for that offer I thank you for watching I will see you again tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time. And uh, take care of yourselves and take care of those you love. It's important. I got that really clearly today too. With that, I thank you. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.